Now, your forecast from Fox 56 News, the weather authority. Well, good evening. Welcome back in. High temperatures for us today, halfway across the state, made it into the upper 50s, other half in the low 50s, thanks to the cold front that was moving in for us last night. Now, as we roll into the rest of this evening, we're going to be seeing clear skies take over and that cold front finishing its job. Clear sky right now down to 45 here in Lexington. That's going to allow with the clear sky to continue to drop through the 40s and into the 30s. You can see temperatures across the board, even in southeastern Kentucky, now down in the 40s. So they're catching up to what we've got going on the rest of the way tonight down into the mid 30s for some with wind chills in the low 30s before we climb back towards those low 50s tomorrow afternoon it's going to be the warmest temperature we're going to get before a real nice cold spell comes in through the rest of your Thanksgiving holiday. If you're looking to get out on the roads and travel ahead of Thanksgiving, Wednesday is going to be good for the most part. Rain comes in mainly late in the evening. That's going to last overnight and into parts of your Thursday morning. Okay throughout the day. It is going to be cooling off throughout Thursday. We're also going to have some breezy winds and some rain chances that are going to linger and eventually drop a chance for some flurries into our Friday and that's going to also bring temperatures well down into the mid 30s. You can see another cold front does its work here over the next couple of days, but nothing that should stop you from getting to Thanksgiving dinner. Here's a look at a planner of Thanksgiving day. Best chances for rain in the morning. Things are going to try to dry out in the second half of the day, but temperatures aren't going to move a whole lot. It is going to be cloudy to overcast for the most part, and then we're going to be finding ourselves in a winter theme the rest of the way. Look on satellite and radar all across the northern parts of the United States and over into the west. There's more blue than anything else. We've got high pressure right now, but clouds are going to start to roll in. The low that's near Denver is going to swing down for us. That's going to bring us our chance for some showers as early as tomorrow night. Again, clouds picking up for a good chunk of tomorrow. Most of the day dry. Can't really a stray shower here or there as the warm front pushes through, but most of that rain will stay to our north until late. We're going to see 8, 9, 10 o'clock. The bulk of the showers begin. Most of our rain is going to fall overnight and into early Thursday morning. The cold front allowing for some heavier pockets of rain in there and then things try to dry out on the backside of that, although we could see a couple of flurries try to linger into our Friday. But that front is going to be the start of what is going to bring in an Arctic air mass that is going to cool things off drastically for us as we get into the weekend. Highs around freezing lows in the teens as that Arctic air mass moves in. Look at the temperatures for high temperatures down towards freezing through the weekend. They're going to stay that way for us into early next week. And here's the kicker. The future wind chills are going to drop into the teens by Friday morning. As we get into Saturday morning, we're going to see the chance for some wind chills down in the single digits to start the day, only climbing back up into the teens for the second half of the day. It is going to be a chilly forecast for us through the weekend. And then on top of that, you throw in one more opportunity here for some precipitation in the form of snow overnight Saturday into Sunday. Temperatures could be cold enough where if we do get a good snow out of that, we could see a little stick to wake up Sunday morning and then the winter chill just hangs on into early next week.